Every player that has played Rocket League has their own personal preferences of their favorite cars, toppers, wheels, maps, game modes, and so on. Many players prefer Octane over Dominus, or Forbidden Temple over Farmstead, or Doubles over Standard. But there is one preference that almost every player shares, one game mode that nobody wants to touch, one that is so cruel and so evil that it has caused many controllers to break and many players to quit the game, and many something else that's bad. No, I'm not talking about Solo Standard. I'm talking about Solo Duel. Now, there are seven ranks to go through in Rocket League. Bronze, Silver, Gold, Plat, Diamond, Champ, and Grand Champ. If you're willing and daring enough that you decide to climb through those ranks in Solo Duel, then there's no turning back. You've started a venture through the Seven Gates of Hell. But if you're not willing and or daring enough, or if you just don't have the patience to play something like Solo Duel, well, I've got you covered. I hopped on a brand new account and decided that I would try my hand at going through the Seven Gates of Hell. <clears throat> the Seven Gates of Hell. As I go on, I'm going to give each gate a label representing its biggest trial or challenge that comes with that rank. Obviously, most of these trials and challenges can fit in other ranks, but as I went through the ranks, this is what seemed to fit the most per rank. Starting with the first gate, Bronze. Now, Bronze Solo Duel, I would call this Rocket League's Limbo. Now, Limbo is a state of nothing. Limbo is also one of my favorite singers, and also a dance that people in their 40s try to do until they realize they're way too old. Oh, no, Dad, not again. But in Rocket League, Limbo is where players go when they're first starting off and can't make any progress. They seem to be stuck in Limbo, making the same mistakes over and over. Bronze is not a tough gate to conquer if you know what you're doing, but if you get trapped inside, you're more than likely going to be stuck for a while. Now that you've gone through one gate, most likely with ease, you're probably thinking the rest of this is going to be a breeze. Well, you're wrong. Wait, that rhymed. I'm a poet and I didn't realize that. Damn it, I was so close. Now, the second gate is a bit tougher. Silver Solo Duel, I would refer to as the Gate of Greed. Players in this rank have gone through one rank and they want more. This is where players start training and practicing their mechanics but this is also where players see the ball and they want it. Many believe that this gate is where ball chasers are born. Players in this rank don't play very smart and oftentimes at this low rank, going after a ball without thought will just lead to nothing but sorrow and loss. Players that think things through and learn to play smart will get through this gate with much less trouble than the players stuck in silver. Now, the gold gate, not like the bridge, but the gold gate in Rocket League, that's where the chunky boys are at. I'd say this gate is best represented as the gate of gluttony. The reason being that most players in this rank are thick. They have enough of an understanding that they can hit the ball more consistently than in the previous ranks. Not every shot that gets put on their net is just going to roll in anymore. And players new to this rank will have less time to think and have to play quick on their feet or wheels. And while players in this rank are still learning and definitely rusty, you will see the ball be hit much more in Gold Solo Duel. It ain't pretty and not fun to watch, but damn they thick. The fourth gate of hell is where some believe the worst evil lies. The fourth gate is home to plat players. Now I'd call this the gate of fraud. Plat players are hated by many. Why? too many reasons to list. But when a plat player gets to plat, statistically, they have passed the majority of players. Now because of that, most of them believe that they are something much greater than they actually are, which is good at Rocket League. Oftentimes, 
Players believe the reason they're stuck in plat is because of their teammate. But it's solo duel? So they have no teammates. So many plat players will come up with multiple excuses as to why they keep losing and why they're stuck in this rank, even in solo duel. Whether it be that they're lagging, or they didn't get the flip reset, or their opponents are just too sweaty. Yes, I have seen this. The fault never lies on themselves. And this is just one reason as to why plat players are worse than any other rank in Rocket League. The fifth gate of hell I'm going to label as the gate of anger. If you've come this far, you've probably got some bruises and scars, but that's not going to stop you. Diamond Solo Duel is home to many experienced players that are actually starting to play well. Players in this gate have figured out their mistakes and fixed them. These players can hit the ball much more consistent, they manage boosts better, they don't hesitate or overextend as much, and while not perfect, they have an understanding of what they should be doing at most times. Until a kickoff goal happens. And happens again. And again. Things like this are the cause for the most toxic rank in Solo Duel. Every gate is toxic, but this is where many believe the most toxic players lie. Diamond Solo Duel is a challenge and a struggle to get through. It takes time, practice, and having to put up with a lot of toxicity. The reason being that the players in this rank are more experienced, so they have much less obvious mistakes to fix, which leads to frustrating and confusing losses, which commonly results in a lot of toxicity and anger. The sixth gate of hell is where champ solo duel players are. If you've made it this far, you've made it to the top 1%. You've gone through almost every gate, and you're a much different, more toxic person because of it. This gate, I'm going to call the Gate of Violence. The reason why I'd label this as the Gate of Violence is that at this rank, you're better than a lot of other players. You've gone through trials and challenges, but you've made it this far. And at this point, you don't care how to win. You don't care what the costs are. And you don't care what your opponent is saying about you. You just want to keep moving forward. And you've realized that the only thing stopping you is your opponent. If your opponent is not on the field, it's a free win. Champ Solo Duel is home to many players with this mentality. This leads to bump after bump and demo after demo, but also goal after goal. Players know how to score and have much better ball control than ever before. And it's tough in this rank. But if you hold on long enough to survive, you can proceed to the final gate of hell. The seventh gate of hell. The final gate. Grand champion in solo duel. The toughest gate of all. I'm going to call this the gate of treachery. Treachery is a betrayal of trust. It's a lie. So why call Grand Champ Solo Duel the gate of treachery? Well, because it doesn't exist. Yep. There's no Grand Champ in solo duel. You've come all this way going through gate after gate and Grand Champ just isn't there. It's all a lie. It's not that I got frustrated and didn't want to put in the time to grind more solo duel to get through to the final gate. Nah, it just doesn't exist. I'm just as upset as you are. If you remember back to when you were a child, and your parents might have told you stories of faraway lands, mythical creatures, magic talking animals, fire breathing dragons, this is just another one of those stories. Many players believe that Grand Champ and Solo Duel exist, but it doesn't. It's just a fairy tale. And they lived happily ever after. The end.